Okay guys, so Call of Duty Vanguard has now arrived. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at everything we do have included in the Ultimate Edition of the game. Was it worth that extra bit of money? I guess you can let me know at the end what you think. So first up, you do get yourselves 5 hours of double XP and also 5 hours of double weapon XP. Just press L3 there to bring up your tokens so you can use them. You will them. also get yourselves a Battle Pass bundle, so when the first season of the game does come out, you will have the Battle Pass straight away, along with 20 tier skips. So I guess that sort of brings the money back up straight away. You will unlock three of the new operators one being wade the other being polina and then finally lucas as well so if you go ahead and press triangle or y to customize your operator you will see you will have the bomber skin available for wade now what's cool about the operators on vanguard is they have their own progressions you can level up each of them to get special rewards like new finisher moves for them they do have the MVP now at the end of the game with little animation you can unlock and just voice clips and things like that which is quite a cool feature. But yeah this bomber skin as you can see here as the first ultimate edition skin unlock. Then next up you do unlock the arctic shadow skin for Polina and I think this is probably the best of the three out of the ultimate edition skins you do unlock. I think that is going to be the one I'm going to rock for now. And just quickly with the release of the game Control Freak have actually made some Vanguard Control Freaks and you can go ahead and use code Gibbles to get 10% off if you would like. You also get a free in-game weapon charm on them if you order them quick enough. For the third and final skin included in the Autumn Edition, we do have Shepard there for our Lucas Operator. And yeah, those are the three new skins. Moving on, we do have five weapons included with this edition of the game. First up, the Breacher Blueprint for the STG. Now, there is a lot of attachments on this game and this one does come along with Recoil Booster there. We've got the Rapid Barrel, uh, two times custom, Precision Stock, Hatchet Grip, 30 rounds, Light and Ammo, and then the Carver Fore Grip as well. Well, now it did say these weapons were supposed to include tracer fire but I went ahead and shot them in a custom game here and I didn't notice any difference from just the regular bullets so hopefully they will fix that and add that in pretty soon to the game maybe they just haven't finished putting in the tracers yet but uh, yeah I didn't notice any. Next up we do have the Thunderhead for the Type 100 blueprint now this one's a legendary so we've got a lot of attachments uh, the rifle break there the Rapid Barrel, the Sleep Reflector Optic, the T100 Stock, Gung Ho Perk, uh, the Kit as Quick Rubber Grip, uh, the Fur Round Short Mag, the, the Under Barrel as the Hand Stop as well. Now for right now, these blueprints are quite tame and realistic looking. But but my favourite part of watching those World War II documentaries was when they run around with their sparkling anime guns. I'm sure we'll see some of them soon in the future. Moving on, we do have the Snowstorm Blueprint for our three-line sniper rifle. And this one has on it the Mercury Silencer there, the Carbine Barrel, uh, the Telescope Optic, the SO1 stock lever grip, armor piston rounds, three round magazine, and also the skeleton stock as the under barrel as well. Well, not stock, just the skeleton. Yeah, this one's a decent looking blueprint. It goes along with that Polina skin quite well. Also, I think I just realized I forgot to turn my motion blur off, so sorry for that when I'm looking at these guns. For these final two weapons, I believe they're actually available for all different editions of the game, but we do have the shredder there for the MP40 with the rifle break there. Uh, the shrouded barrel, the 2.5 times optic, the padded as the stock, the groove grip, 32 rounds, and the and the strife angled as the underbarrel. And finally, the Sten blueprint, Wildwood, with the Mercury Silencer again, the Sun Filter, the foregrip stock, sort of hand, uh, Pintar grip, 20 round mag, lightened ammo, and then the compact as the underbarrel. And yeah, that's everything included with the Ultimate Edition of Call of Duty Vanguard. So let me know down below, did you pick up this version, or are you just going to skip it now? or maybe you decide you want it after seeing this um but yeah make sure you drop a like if you haven't already and subscribe to your channel with notifications on because i will be showcasing if you are new around here i do showcase all of the like new skins and weapon blueprints and bundles in the game so i'll be doing that for vanguard as well leave any questions in the comment section below you can join my discord server down there as well and i'll see you on the next one